Once you have a table in your document, you may need to restructure it by moving data around. In this video, I show you a plethora of ways that you can move both rows and columns. Word provides a number of ways that you can move data around within a table. In this video, I want to focus specifically on ways that you can move entire rows or columns within the table. Before starting though, you really should turn on the display of non-printing characters in your document. If you cannot see these backward P characters at the end of each paragraph, or you cannot see the end of cell markers in your table, then you need to turn them on. You do that by using the Show Hide tool on the Home tab of the ribbon. The first way to move rows or columns is to use standard editing techniques using the clipboard. The trick is to make sure that you select the entire row or column. For instance, to select an entire row in this table, I just need to move the mouse pointer to the left of the row, so it's pointing up and to the right, and then click once. Now that entire row is selected. Granted that Word has placed this temporary menu over the top of it, but if I move the insertion pointer off, off to the right or wait long enough, you can see that the entire row is selected within this table. Now all I need to do is press Control X. Notice that the entire row is deleted and then move my insertion point to where I want to paste that particular row. In this case, I want to paste it right above the row that starts with north. So I'm gonna press Control V at this point, and you can see that it placed that row at that insertion point within the table. You can do the same thing to move a column, but again, the trick is to make sure that you select the entire column. Note when I move the insertion point near the top of this column, it changes into a downward pointing arrow. When it does that, I can click once and I've now selected the entire column. I can again press Control X. I've now deleted the column to the clipboard and I can place the insertion point at the place where I want to insert it. So I want to insert it just before the column for Kwaku here. And all I have to do now is press Control V and it has pasted that column within the table. Another way to move rows or columns is to simply use the mouse. This method is a little bit trickier than the last one, but it can be done if you like to use the mouse quite a bit. Now remember how I selected an entire row just a moment ago? Well, after that row is selected, just like we've done right there, then all you have to do is move that mouse pointer to the very beginning of the row. Notice that I'm placing it just to the left of the first word in the first column. Now all I have to do is hold down the mouse button, and after a short time, what happens is, as you see a heavy marker come in there, and a little box appears underneath the mouse pointer. Now I'm still holding this down, but I'm going to zoom in so you can see that little box that I'm talking about right there. Now all I have to do is drag this mouse pointer down to where I want that row to be. Notice that the heavy marker is now before the word west. And when I release the mouse button here, what happened is, is it moved that entire row down so it was just above that west row that was in here. Like I said, it's a little bit tricky to move things that way and it takes a little bit of practice to get used to using the mouse, but you can move both rows and columns using the mouse as I just outlined. The final way of restructuring your table involves only moving rows, and this is actually a very handy method of moving them. I'm gonna place the insertion point in this row right here. Notice that it's right in the middle of the word east. And then I'm gonna move the mouse off to the side because we're not gonna do anything with the mouse right now. What I wanna do though is I wanna press the Shift key and the Alt key, and then I can use the up and the down arrows to move this entire row within the table. Every time I press either up or down, it moves 
its position within the table itself. Now you have to be a little bit careful in doing this because you can, if you keep on moving, you can move that row right out of the table as I've just done here. Or I can move it right back into the table if I want to. Again, I'm holding down the Shift and the Alt keys and I'm using the up and the down arrow to position that row where I want it to be. The other thing that I can do is I can select multiple rows at the same time and do the exact same thing. Shift, Alt, and up arrow, and now I'm moving two rows at a time within this table. This is a very quick way of putting your table rows in the order that you want. You need to remember though that this movement technique works only for rows, not for columns. There you go. Now you know three easy ways to restructure your tables by moving around rows and columns to where you need them. If you found this video helpful, be sure to click the subscribe button and click the bell icon. That way YouTube will inform you whenever I add a new video to the WordTips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.